we are approaching Senator Kevin DeLeon's district office. In his district office one year ago today, June 13th, 2016, five beautiful Americans lost their lives when an illegal from Honduras set an intentional fire and took their lives in an abandoned warehouse. We are here in the office to honor those five Americans and to bring the issue out to Senator Kevin DeLeon because this occurred in his district. Yes, um, Mitch, we would just like to um, say first. If it's we, okay if I'm not filmed, I'm, I'm just a state employee and I would prefer not um, we, to be filmed. We are here so. to say. Would you like to speak to one more time? Again? Yes. Okay. Did we miss anything? Okay. Uh, we are here. Uh, we oppose the sanctuary state bill that has a hearing today. But we are also here because one year ago today, five Americans lost their lives in this district when an intentional fire was set by a man illegally in our country. Uh, he was from Honduras and came to our country illegally in 2012 and he actually had records of drug abuse, domestic abuse. He kicked a woman in the head five times and a year ago today on June 13, 2016, he set an intentional fire in this district and it killed five Americans. And we just wanted to honor those five Americans on this day and we'd just like to read their names to honor them. Yes, uh, the first name is DeAndre, DeAndre Mitchell. Tierra Stansberry, Jerry Clements, Joseph Williams, Mary Ann Davis. Thank you, and may their souls rest in yes. peace. May in God peace. be with them and their families. This is an unacceptable crime. This, there is no excuse for this. Absolutely, innocent lives were taken and there is no excuse. Those innocent lives she talks about were taken, they needlessly taken, and mm -hmm. the law's been enforced. Those five, those five innocent people would be here, here today enjoying life, but now they're basing, I hate to say, pushing up daisies because of lack, lack of uh, enforcement at all levels. Those what, innocent what lives were taken by a gentleman who had absolutely no value of life, I know and understand that not as immigration status had nothing to do with what kind of a man he was. Well, he, he, had no, he, he had no he respect right for life yeah. and it's unacceptable for what he did to our innocent. Well, if so, our laws would have been enforced, he wouldn't have been here. The doing. first crime he, he committed, he would have, should have been he deported. He might have killed five people in Mexico. Would have made a difference? Yes. He would have taken but five lives anyway. Those families have lost heart. their loved ones. And this man should not have been in our country. Their loved ones would still be here today. They have to visit their loved ones at the grave now because our laws are not enforced and he was allowed to remain in our country even as he was breaking laws. Drug abuse. Again, he kicked a woman in the head ten times and was allowed to stay in our country until his crimes rose to this level. The now five Americans have to suffer the loss of their lives. And, and the reason why he was able to sneak into the country, uh, he lied about his age. Yes. Uh, and he got in as an unaccompanied, unaccompanied minor. Uh, minor. And, uh, he, and then later, uh, and later I, I, I think he committed some kind of uh, crime. And then they did a background check. And then they, brought, then they discovered, wow, he's not a minor. He's an adult. He's an adult. And, and, and so, so the, there's, the, there's all kinds of programs, you know, that, that can be, uh, that, that, hate, that, that have no database, you know, to, you know, to, to, to determine, well, was this person really a minor? 
And, and so it's, it's easy to lie and go around the system. And Mike? Yeah, in, the, in, in Mexico, they would not tolerate any of this stuff. No, they would not in Mexico. It would have never happened in Mexico. Mm -mm. If you do anything wrong while you're uh, visiting or uh, uh, in that country, you're going to be removed That's right, right away. There's no detention centers in Mexico. No. You go straight out of the country. That's it. But we, we really wanted to honor these five Americans and their families. Uh, we are heartbroken. And so are we. Yes. This is unacceptable. This has uh, this is uh, innocent lives that were taken. As there's absolutely no excuse for this, and justice should have been prevailed. Uh, can you have Dillion do something in regards to these five individuals? We will. Can you? We will honor their memory. We will send uh, their families, if you would like, um, uh, certificates from the senator's office. But no. yes. that, that would absolutely do nothing for the lives that are taken. But we'll no, be no. more than happy to yes, yes. honor their lives. Yes. 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 Of course. Definitely. Okay, and I'm sure. You have means of finding that, or they live yeah. in the I can get the information uh, because anything to honor their memory is appreciated, and uh, that would be a, 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 stay, a yes. great step. At the least we can. Yeah. Okay. If you well, could just you. please give us the link. I will email you the information. Okay. All right. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Have a great day. And you're a lot nicer than the other guy when we met. <laughs> and we, we want to say God bless. These Donald Americans. Oh. God bless these Americans. God bless Donald Trump. God bless Donald Trump. And God bless America. Thank you.